fury to, to always beat Joshua. Are you are you sticking with that? I am. Bill, can you hear me? I've got a 50 grand bet with Eddie Earn. If he wants to add, if he would, yeah, I said I've also got a 50 grand bet with Eddie Earn. If he wants to add another zero on that, I'm game to do it. Well, you'd have a 500 grand bet with Eddie Earn. I'll tell you what I will do with Eddie Earn. My next, my next perch, whoever it may be against, I'll put my next perch pure and beat him. Double it, or I get nothing. Yeah, but what if your next fight's Canelo? Fucking keep getting phone calls, go on. I said, what if your next fight was Canelo? I gamble it. On my son's life, I gamble it. I put it on it. I put it on Tyson. You would gamble your purse with Eddie Earn for, for Fury to beat Joshua? I swear to God, yeah, on my kid's life, I will gamble my next purse, whoever it may be, whatever it may be, Fury beats him. That's... Wow. <laughs> Those are the words of Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders claims that he would put his next purse, his son's life, everything he had, 50,000 plus another zero, uh, even his fight purse against Canelo Alvarez, against Anthony Joshua, betting that Fury beats Joshua to Eddie Turn. What does that tell you? I know Billy Joe Saunders talks a lot of shit. But I mean, you don't say your son's life. Come on, you know what I mean? Like, you have to have some type of assurance. Some, I know Fury can beat Joshua kind of uh, intuition to want to bet all that that he mentioned on Tyson Fury. And I know Tyson Fury is his friend and all. And they, you know, that's his commandant, that's his ace boon coon. These guys are real tight. But he will bet all that on Tyson Fury. And that's showing a lot from Billy Joe Saunders. You know, it's showing, it's showing pure confidence. I don't know what uh, Eddie Hearn's reaction would be to that. But I think Eddie Hearn probably would put something. But I don't think it would be you know, anywhere near $500,000, you know what I mean? But of course, we're looking at Billy Joe. Billy Joe is a guy, he's also undefeated. You know, he's also, a tra his, he's from a traveling family also. And those guys are real tight knit, you know, and it just shows the unity between those guys and how they think and how they back their fighter. So you have to admire that at the end of the day, that, Billy Joe would go out on a limb and say the things that he said about betting what he has on Tyson Fury, you know? And he also states that the Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua fight could be anywhere in the grounds or the ballpark of, uh, of, of Mayweather Pacquiao, you know? So he's looking for that fight to be a big fight. And I know for whatever reason, people want to profit off of it if it's, you know, on the sidelines like a bet or whatever. So people are putting their money where their mouth is. And all we have to do now is see if Billy Joe delivers because he can say this, that, and the other, but let's see if he's really willing to do that. You know, because those are tough things that he's saying, you know I mean? But of course, Billy Joe Saunders talks a lot of trash too. So, you know, in this case, I think seeing is believing, but... It shows you that he definitely believes that Tyson Fury will beat Anthony Joshua, okay? And a lot of people will be betting, and this is just another example, people, of how this fight is the fight that people want to see, and there's certain things that may transpire to hurry and speed this fight along. You know what I mean? I think they shouldn't have mentioned they, they signed the, the paperwork yet. I don't think they should have mentioned that because... Now people coming out of Corona, you know, the, the world will demand this type of fight because we saw Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. We don't want to see that again. Nobody wants to see that type of performance again. We didn't want to see Bernard Hopkins versus Trinidad. We didn't want to see another Pacquiao versus De La Hoya. We didn't want to see these type of fights because these type of fights speak for themselves. Okay? So why see another redo of a fight that, you know, got interrupted for one, an injury by Wilder, for two, a worldwide pandemic. You know what I mean? I think 
the signs are, are, are lining up that, hey, maybe people don't want to see this and maybe this fight shouldn't happen. Or at least it shouldn't happen right now. You know what I mean? But it just shows you the interest in this type of fight. You know, um, the fight will be a huge fight. And Tyson Fury predicts that he wants to sign the biggest contract. So I think, you know, it's a situation where if it's any fight that can pair, you know, compete with Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, it's Joshua Fury for all the all the belts. Okay, you got the undisputed lineal WBC ring magazine champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury versus the two time unified champion Anthony Joshua, both from the UK. All right, money houses, money, money, money. It's a lot of money involved. Countries are stating they want four hundred million. Crazy money. So Billy Joe might be right about the interest on how big this fight could actually be. The only question is, will it happen? And if it does happen, when and how? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Billy Joe willing to bet his son's life, bet his next fight purse, bet 500,000, bet 50,000, bet whatever it needs to be, bet on Tyson the Gypsy King Fury that he beats Anthony Joshua to Eddie Hearn. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.